and welcome. Welcome to Stitches and Jacks. You are so welcome here. So it's just caught my eye. There's like a trail of yarn and I'm digressing, digressing already. Well, hello, my lovies. Hello, my lovies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for welcoming me back and watching my um, little podcast and my waffle. Oh, so yeah, I feel so much better after getting it out of my system. Do you sometimes just have to get things out of your system? I do. I do. One of the things that I promised was to come back quickly. Dick. <laughs> the second thing was to come back and talk about my sock knitting. Last year, I think I did a lot more vlogging than actual podcasting. And I find it very intimidating, I suppose, on a one to one basis um, for a long period of time. But I'm going to try my best. So welcome one and all everybody that is at the party and anybody that is just dropping by. So I live in England, in the northwest of England. I am a southerner, but I met the northerner and we moved, oh my word, 26 years ago uh, this summer. We moved up here and I won't want to live anywhere else. I love it. Well, I obviously live with Mr Jackson, all my children, I go wherever they are. Um, it's Tuesday. Now I know the date because we were looking at lettuce today and it was the 21st. I know it's the 20th, there we are. And it is time check, two minutes to six. And I have just scoffed the most gorgeous homemade turkey pie um, that Mr. Jack's made. That was, yes, trying to do some healthy eating. So we had very light dinner last night, my choice. And then today, pie, Mr. Jack's choice, but we didn't have any potatoes, so yeah, beautiful. So I brush my teeth, so I brush my hair, I've got a new lippy on for you. So shall we get on? Shall we get on? I was about to say, in no particular order, there is some order, but I'm kind of I'm working on my language. I was about to say I've been not very good at my record keeping, which is true, but I need to rephrase that. I need to focus on recording my projects in 2025. That's a much better thought and stuff coming out my mouth. <laughs> um, yes, so what I'm going to do is I think I'll show you my socks and we'll see how long this is going to be. Some, if you're long-term viewers, some of you see, some of you won't. I am predominantly a DPN girl. And yeah, so last year I made, well, I should have put my glasses on because I won't be able to read anything. So I think I cast these on on my birthday. So these are by the fireside socks. Absolutely beautiful, these are. And they are by um, Danny from Little Bobbins. So these are my socks. Oh, look, can I just sh may I show you my piles of socks? Because all my sock blockers are um, underneath. Right, are we ready? Are we ready? Da -da! Oh, oh my God. Let's see if I can just sit nicely and see if YouTube will be kind to me and give me a lovely thumbnail. What do you think? Right, let's get rid of that nonsense. Uh, Do I, need to do I need to show them on a sock blocker if I have blocked them? No, I think just for time's sake, maybe I'll put one on. Shall we do that? Shall we have a tidy one? And there's another thing that I have noticed. Um, I think I made 18 pairs of socks last year and one of them I can't find and it's my best, well, one of my best pairs I'll talk about that when I get to it, when I get to the pattern. So here we are. Look at this. Oh my word. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So this is West Yorkshire Spinners yarn in the cream because I didn't have any cream hand. Oh, no, that's a total lie. I was about to say I didn't have any cream hand dyed yarn, bare yarn, whatever it's called. Um, but I didn't want to break into it. So I used West Yorkshire Spinners. And I used a very, very precious 
skein of yarn by Mr and Mrs Rabbit. They don't die anymore. And it's called Liberty Love. Look at that. Oh, my word. And this was gifted to me from Lindsay at Stitch Create Love. Beautiful. So I have two pairs. They were a really lovely, enjoyable um, knit and the bobble. Oh, bear with me. <coughs> um, and that's West Yorkshire Spinners as well in the um, pink. So that's that pattern. If you could see the mess that is on here, it's unbelievable. So my second pair of socks in February and we're still in love season. Was a pair of shorty socks. I always tend to knit long socks to go into my boots. I'll, as soon as I can get into my like boots, I've got I'll have those on. And this is let me just show you the pattern. This is by um, the kitchen sink shop and key to my heart socks. So that was the pattern there. I think Dawn from Dawn's Days, Woven Al Almanac, was knitting a similar pair, but hers were DK. I don't know whether I've written. These are hand dyed. And I think it's Beehive Yarns. Look at this colour. Oh my word. Still got a tail here. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? So these are definitely for me. I should have been wearing them, shouldn't I? On Valentine's Day. Just to prove that. Yes, just to prove that I did actually make these. So I was looking at these before and I was like, oh my word, I've been supposed to have been sewing it, all the ends in, but I haven't because I've been working on my Stephen West shawl. But I thought, just do the podcast. Nobody's going to be bothered whether you're sewing the ends in or not because they're not wearing them. So, um, yeah, so that was my second pair in February. Really beautiful. I really love um, that beehive yarn. Right. So, oh, I need a big sock blocker. Right, I have to get Mr Jack's special ones out. So that's there. Or do I? Can I just show you? <laughs> These make me laugh so much. He's allowed to have them today. They've been on my pile for, well, since last March. Nearly nearly a year. Yeah, we went to the East Anglia yarn show. So we went down and stayed in Norfolk. So we had a huge drive. My word, we got through like the motorways, M6. And as soon as we hit the A14, oh my word, it was such, just such a bore. Um, and I wasn't feeling my great. I had a chest infection. I think that was, yeah. Um... So I just needed to take something that was simple for knitting. So I took um, all of my Yorkshire spinners and cast on a vanilla pair of socks. And this is what I li literally just knitted. Oh, my word. Look at those now. Mr. Jack's, I think, is a size like 11 to 12. Yeah. And uh, he didn't know that I was knitting these. And he could see me picking my knitting up every so often. And then one day he asked me and I said, oh, I said they're for you, lovey. And his face, his smile, he was like, are they really? Because I was a bit worried they might be a bit jazzy for him. But um, yeah, he said he really liked those. So these are my Shorkshire Spinners. I've got the label in here. Oh, that's really bad, isn't it? Right. What's this got? Oh, OK. No, this is, says I need oil, cooking oil, apple sauce, toilet rolls, ketchup and beer. Oh, here. Oh, it's on the other side. Um, I did 15 rows of rib, 65 for the leg. Right, and then I, uh, right, that's interesting because I'm just making a pair of socks here and I'd forgotten that. It said after picking up for the gusset, knit three rows and then do the leg increase. Right. I'll have to I'll have to have a look and I'll see if I can put it down here. So that was my third pair of socks. My word, they were a mammoth mammoth knit. You know, when you just need something, 
there's plenty on there. I did knit, so it would have been 20, 22, a couple of, was it a couple of sock tubes? I might be exaggerating, it might have just been one, and I'd kind of had enough when I was halfway down the leg, I think. So then in my pile, oh no, I have a pair of Easter socks, and these are, so traditionally, leg, a uh, heel down, start again. Traditionally, rib down, heel flap and gusset, and a wedge toe. So I saw these for Easter and I ordered them from Dragon Hill Studio. Oh my. And they just scream mini eggs. So let me put them on. Yeah, let me put them on. Um, one of my goals was to perhaps try some different heels last year. So I think I experimented with, yeah, the afterthought heel. Yeah, look. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Yeah, they look so like mini eggs. I picked a packet up when we went to the supermarket. So they're in our bag. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, seven days down, no chocolate. I could not for Lent. Oh, my word. So I'm super proud of myself. I didn't realise, I think, how much chocolate I was eating or how much chocolate Mr Jacks eats and then then offers me some. It's really hard not to um, say no. <laughs> or, yeah. Um, and then my darling daughter-in-law dropped the most enormous hint that um, I think I've made her one pair of socks and that she really loves them. They keep a wrong sock blocker. By the way, I'm size five. So, well, five to five and a half. So it's 50, if I'm, doing, if I'm working a vanilla sock, it's, yeah, I've gone back to a 15 rib, um, 50 rows, heel flap and gusset, and then 40, 45 rows, depending on the yarn. Uh, yes, and I actually received for Christmas, I need to wash them so I can't show you. Um, my daughter made me a pair, oh my word. Yeah, just lovely, and I love them. I was so delighted with them. They are just such a nice present to receive. I know how much work yeah, goes into them. So these are for my daughter-in-law. So I'll need to, they're blocked. So I just need to sew the ends in and then she can have them. Yeah, look at this. Let me put this one on here to show you. This is a commercial yarn. I've kind of fallen back in love with um, West Yorkshire spinners. Um, I think they're quite a robust yarn. Um, you know, to go in your walking boots, that kind of thing, or your wellies. Yeah, look at these. So my daughter-in-law is, I don't, I don't think she'll mind me telling you, she's size seven foot. Yeah. So I knitted these for her. So look at those. Aren't they beautiful? So this is a West Yorkshire uh, the purple, em is it called Emperor? I'll put all my notes down below. Now I'm questioning myself that that's a West Yorkshire spin as I don't think it is. No, it isn't. That's it, it's um, Rico. It's Rico bamboo. So it's a mixture of wool, Discus and poly, oh, poly made, right, okay. So that is it, that is as soft as butter to um, knit with. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I've just dropped the whole lot now, oh my word. So yeah, so they're lovely. So once I've sewn the ends in, she can have those. But yeah, they're beautiful. So I think, I don't think I've got any more, I'll check my stash, but I'm due to go to Black Sheep Walls today. Uh, yeah, today, but it's been called off, so. I'm going to go next week, I think, so I might, um, if they've got some, I might try and get a pair. I think that's what I need to, um, to rub those. A bit sandpaper. So they were for my darling daughter. They were supposed to be ready for a baby shower. Just bear with me, I'm going to pick everything up. I'm sorry about that. Can I turn the camera off? Um, second pair socks I made for my daughter-in-law were 
And I just realised I put them on sock block and I haven't got the pattern. And I'm sure these are these are by Shannon from um, Blue Fern Yarns. I'll put the details down below. So these are the socks, and I thought think they're called Walk the tr Walk the Tracks, Walk the Line. Yeah, look at those. And that's the second one. Oh my. And again, these are commercial, a commercial pair. And they are, these are a Rico game. Um, Rico Designs and it's Tweedy. And it's, I don't know if they've got a colourway on here. No, it's just a shade number. So that's the ball band. You see that? And then that's the number. Let's put that back in there. So yes, again, these were a pleasure um, to knit with. And they've got a slight, is it called a nub in there? Yeah, really beautiful. So they're going to be really um, lovely and warm for her. It's just a lot of walking with um, the two boys and the dog. So... Yeah, I'll, um, I'll put the ends are sewn in on this one, on this pair. So I'll get great pleasure in um, gifting of those. And then these are the socks that I can't find, and I'm so cross. I've been had everything out, but I did have a big um, sort out, and I took them. I put those stuff. <laughs> the mess that was on the bed, I've taken put in the other room, so. I, I'm just wondering, I'm a great one for putting stuff in a bag and yeah, and in a bag. So the grannies in a row socks, oh my word, they were so much fun, really were so much fun. Um, so if I can dig them out, I'll put a photograph in, but if not, I have made them. They come to light, but they are certainly, if you've not done these, give them a go. They are um, cuffed down, but if you can do toe up, you'll be able to um, reconfigure, you know, the, um, the pattern and put your own heel in but they were so much fun and I will definitely definitely be making um, some more of those so then just having a look right so then in May um, Jeanette from Crafty Clegg's Creations Alex from My Yarny Corner and myself were having a conversation and I'd watched, just watched um, um, Alex dye this beautiful yarn and it just reminded me of um, Ukraine and we were hosting the Eurovision for Ukraine in this country because of all what was going on and it's still going on. Um, so we decided to see if we could just raise um, a little bit of money and just send it to just let them know we were thinking of them. And we had a, um, a hashtag, which I'll put on, under here. I don't know whether I've written it on my list. Yes, I think it, it was um, hashtag you... UA for Ukraine, GB, Eurovision, Eurovision, I think, but I will put the proper one. So Alex donated some yarn and then spent, then donated her time and effort to um, you know, produce these beautiful skeins of sock yarn. And then um, Jeanette said she'd make some bags. And I was like, oh, hang on a minute. I think I've got the perfect material. So I showed her this material um, and she, yeah, it was a panel. So which she was able to cut down so that was a bit of a pig and a lot of work but she did it and she's made these stunning bags so i think we had enough material to have one each and then we um um yeah we're able to um sell the rest and then the lovely abby from um well she's changed her name hasn't she Right, I'll put that underneath because I know her account was compromised. But she went into Liverpool and she thought of us. She bought us these. These are the yellow one. It's like the yellow banana. And they they were all over like um, Liverpool. So she bought us this. She also bought us um, a badge. Look at this. It's so special. 
so that's lovely and so she did, donated some money that way as well which was really nice and then the ball band that um alex designs walking with ukraine that was our socks yeah yeah so um so it was the hashtag ua and gb eurovision but i think we had to take the and out because you can't have that on a um instagram so that was a ball band and then Jeanette's um, husband, Tim, on word, he is just so lovely. He um, designed and made these um, stitch markers, sunflowers. So I think they went they went in as well as, you know, like um, a little treat. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Really special. I've got a bag there. I've got oh, I think there might have been like a sweet or a tea in there as well. So that's the amount of yarn that I have left over. So again, oh, and he made us this. This is just, oh my word, it's to die for. So he's made us this little tag to go in with our photos and our stitches. But we just try to open it to everybody. There'll be a little bit, you know, there's only a few few bags to do to, um, to be able to purchase, but the money would go to, go to them. We didn't charge anything for our time. I donated some yarn as well. So I used a Ukrainian designer. Oh. And this is, well, it's a live sticky fingers and knitted mine. So can you see that pattern? That's what they're called. And the designer is there. And my socks, just beautiful. Look at those. So they're Ukrainian um, colours. Really, really beautiful. And a really beautiful, super, super um, knit. So they were well worth um, knitting for thought with pleasure with pleasure so that was hand dyed and then I thought I had a bag hmm. whoops whoops oh, I thought I brought everything up oh yes I have it's right behind me why didn't I know then I sort of kind of got a bit sidetracked Jeanette went away in May and then showed these beautiful socks and they're the Christmas cheer socks and I was involved with um, Christmas in July and a couple of projects. But when I saw Jeanette making these, I was like, oh my word, oh my word. I had a real, um, is it FOMO? FOMO? Fear, fear of missing out? Maybe I've got that right. Um, and I really wanted to have a go at making those and just doing a little bit of colour work. So, yeah, I still have my Give me my Christmas bag. Um, so I used um, Nord, which I hadn't used before, and I thought it's a good opportunity for me to buy some yarn. <laughs> what are we like? Um, and yeah, they were the colours. Um, I've obviously only used a little bit of. Um, the green and the gold but I can still yeah make some more so it's Nord let's hold this up properly yeah drops Nord unicolour really lovely um, yarn to work with so that was a good exercise a good exercise put these here so yes so they're there, and I was looking. Have I shown you these? I don't think so. Yeah, these were on my sock blockers. Look at these. Da -da. That's the wrong way, that's the left, it's the side you need to look at. Oh my god, I just loved them. Absolutely loved them. Yes, really, really loved them. So they were a pleasure um, to make. And then, what happened then? So that's that pattern. 
And then Mr. Stephen West, and I need to put these on sock blackers. Right, bear with me, I'm going to stop the camera and put these on sock blockers because they really need to be shown off. Oh, I've turned the camera off again. <laughs> so Mr Stephen West come along in, I think it was July, um, with a surprise sock along and it was a contrast blast um, socks. So same setup as when he does the shawl mail in October, you had a clue like every week. Um, so I used, oh, right, mm. I haven't got the yarn for this, but it's a hand dyed and I used um what did i use i can't remember the name the gray i'll have to leave those details down below but i'll show you my socks right are we ready are you ready are you ready Ta -da! oh my word look at those really really beautiful really beautiful um i did enjoy doing them I didn't think they were quite tight at one point. I think it was here, but he said, trust him when you block them, it will release them, which it did. Love like the cable, that detail there. That's so beautiful. Yeah, this was all right, really scrunched up, but once you blocked that, um, and I think they're gonna be a bit big for me, but they'll be good like, you know when you just get out of the bath and you want to have a pair of like nice socks on. Yeah. Really lovely. I think opinion was quite divided over them. He's obviously, I think he's like my, built like my husband, quite a big guy, quite a good, quite a big foot between 10 and 12. So I think it stretches everything. So to go from a 10 down to a five can be quite difficult. I don't know whether I would knit them again, but if I, if I did, yeah, if I did, if I did knit them, I think I might change, just change it around um, a little bit. But yeah, I think I've got one more on here. I think I'll take that out. Let's get rid of that end. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six pattern repeats. I've only got four here. So I think I would take one, two, three, four. All right, perhaps I'll just take one out. Just take one out so that it matched. It would match that. But yeah, lovely. And I'll tell you who um, did a really good series. That's Dawn from Dawn's Days. I think it was on the Woven Almanac. Yeah, Woven Almanac. Um, she did like a little sort of roundup video after each week and, um, you know, gave an honest review of how she found, how she found it. Um, and I found that really interesting to um, watch that and see how that was broken down. And she hadn't made anything like this before. But I think she really loved the um, Stephen West yeah, pattern. Right, then, well, it had to be the Strictly socks, didn't it? No, it wasn't the Strictly, it was my autumnal socks. And these are from West Yorkshire Spinners. Sorry, bending down there. Oh. And I don't think I've got the ball band for that either. I think these are autumn leaves. That's coming back to me. Do they not scream, autumn leaves? And I didn't wear them, I haven't worn them. Why haven't I worn them? I think I had a pair. Did I have a pair to wear that were last year's, I think? Yeah, beautiful. So just a very simple pair of vanilla socks, but you didn't need anything because it just does all the um, work for you. So, yeah, loved those. So moving on from there. Oh, it was the Strictly uh, Sock Along. So I bought the yarn from um, Green Lampkin Yarn and um yeah beautiful i've had a yarn before and it's really really lovely so again this is a pattern by shannon from blue fern yarn and it is called fur cone look at these let me just see if i can slip this on a blocker i've got a pair of um, these as well now because i couldn't find my other ones 
I, don't, I hadn't realised the reason I couldn't find them was because they were another pair of socks. <laughs> um, so I have done another heel. I've done heel flap and gusset, heel flap and gusset. I call it an afterthought heel, but I do it as I go. I can't see the point of, if I know who I'm knitting for, I can't see the point of cutting my yarn. I might as well just put it in there. Uh, but I know it's a nice thing, skill to have to make your sock tube and then you can put it away and then you've got those hopefully. And if somebody wants a pair of socks, you can just cut into it that way. But this is, is this a shadow wrap heel? And I used Alex from My Yarny Corner. She got an excellent tutorial, um, as like has many others. But I just really liked her camera work and the way she was just very slow. You know, like she just took her time. Well, can you see the glitter in these? It's so much fun. Yes, yeah, so they're beautiful. So yes, yeah, Suzanne's yarn. Oh my word. Lovely. So I really like those. So yeah, Shadow Up Heels, I think I've yeah, done that. Executed that well. Um I don't normally do that's a two by two rib. It's normally two by two or one by one, depending on what mood I'm in, and a heel flap and gusset. Yeah, so Shannon's got some excellent patterns, so they're well worth going and um, check it, checking out. So they were done. Can't be able to um, wear all these now, a little present to myself. And then, oh yes, I went to Yarndale last year. I'm very good, at, well, yeah, I'm very good at going <laughs> to shows, buying stuff and then not using it. You just add into my collection. Oh, there's a thread there. Oh, and I just met this wonderful guy. Um, yeah, we just had such a such a laugh. Oh, my word, he was so funny. He had the most amazing um, sock sets. Let me just see. Put these on. I need to put his name on the screen. I've not got the band. That's, that's so bad. I don't really normally use my, lose my bands. Perhaps they're in the box though. But that was the sock set. Beautiful, absolutely it's so soft, so soft. And that was the contrast, which for me is really bright, really bright. So I just made, yeah, simple vanilla pair of socks with um, practicing this shadow wrap heel. You ready? Da da! Oh my word, look at those. Aren't they lovely? They're just so much fun. They make me smile so much and just make me think of this guy, yeah, that I met. We just had just such a good giggle. He was amazing. So I'll definitely be going back to his store if I go to Yondale this year. Yeah, really lovely. So they're for me as well. So I've got a lot of socks now. <laughs> so I need to, yeah. Do a bit more um, sock giving. And then, yeah, really beautiful. And then Alex from My Yarn, Yarny Corner. I don't know where it was from with my hair. <laughs> she came out with her very first sock pattern, and I was all over it, all over it. They're called the Puffle Socks. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, a pair of um, shorty, shorty socks. I, was, I just fell in love with the picture and I was like, oh my word, I think I've um, got the perfect yarn. Oh my word. So um, yeah, I cast, the, I cast these on. And these will not be my last. Right, are you ready? Oh my word. I knitted these uh, in probably a, probably a week, just after a week, because I just couldn't put them down. They were that addictive. Right, are you ready? Are you ready for this this pair of beauties? Da -da! Look at those. Oh my word, I love them. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be making some more socks. 
yeah there's like um was it play yeah so you got your pattern so it's um it's toe up no it isn't it's rib <laughs> rib down um the shadow wrap heel and wedged i did a wedge toe um and it's plain just knit rounds halfway down the sock like back leg and the heel and then you've got this little bit of um pattern that just gives you that puff oh my word oh my word and i can't even remember that's Try not to use negative language, but I don't even know what I made them out of. Right, okay. And I haven't got that either. If I find it in the next few days, I will put it in the notes below. Um, I've got a feeling it was Bird Street Yarns, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's Bronte. So I had to have Bronte in there, didn't I? Yeah, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So effective, such, so simple, such a lovely mindful knit. You can just do it in front of the telly. So yes, I was there. So I think I will be knitting another pair of those um, this year. Yeah, really lovely. So well done, Alex. And I think she's, I bought her other pattern and I think that's up north. Um, and then I think she's released another one and I think she's on the process of, um, yeah, uh, um, another pair. She's got, I think it's gone out to testers. I, yeah, I missed it, so I couldn't. Um, I couldn't put my hand up and go, "Oh, can I test them?" But yeah, I'll be um, working on those. And then Christmas saw me, yeah, vlogging, and I think I will have shown you these, but I don't know whether you would have seen them in their finished glory. So how perfect to end the year on a pair of beautiful. West Yorkshire Spinners yarn. Um, these are called the Nutcracker. So I had the Toft Nutcracker Advent. Oh, my word. And then I had these. And I'd just like you to know. Just like you to know. Just notice, please. Just notice. Oh, that's why. <laughs> um, that they matched perfectly. Oh, my word. <laughs> Little things that... Um, um, please you so the gold on the toe so a pair of favourite vanillas um, so 15 15 rows on the rib 2 by 2 yeah, 2 by 2 rib um, heel flap and gusset 40 odd rows and then a wedge toe oh yes, I'm going to show you hadn't I so that you can admire <laughs> admire my toes that match Ta -da! Yeah, more or less. More or less, yeah, they do. Yay! <laughs> so there's that bit of uh, silliness. Oh, so yeah, I feel so much better that I've done a roundup of um, my socks. So I have. Yeah, these are two pairs of socks. I showed you, didn't I, last week? A pair for myself in the West Yorkshire Spinners Wood Pigeon and Mr Jack's socks, which he has got. Um, I think they're in his um, sock drawer. So I have knitted another pair of socks this month already. So they're a little bit different. Again, a commercial sock, but not West Yorkshire Spinners. It's totally different. Um, so I'll look forward to showing you those when I do the February roundup. And then I can show you these. As long as you don't tell Mr. Jacks. I cast these on. Um, was it last night? No, I think it's su Sunday night. I just did the rib. That's what I tend to do. I'll cast on the rib and then I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, just round, around, around. <laughs> um, these are for his birthdays. Birthdays, um, the beginning of March. So when I went to... Um, um, Yorkshire to meet Alex last was it November December first weekend first weekend in December I think it was and we met up for lunch and we went to Betty's tea room and my darling Laura um, drove me here yeah, she came and picked me up and she drove me all the way um, there because I was just like a little old lady and I couldn't drive myself 
<laughs> it's good when you pull that card. But uh, oh, we had such a lovely, lovely time. And Alex showed us around and there was a craft market. Yeah, just amazing. Then took us into this amazing like toy shop. Yeah, we don't have anything like that. And then she took me into um, Boils, Boils. And I was able to buy this, um, which I hadn't seen. And it's designed by Stuart Hillard, who is very big in like the quilting world but he knits as well but he does like to knit um socks so this is by starcraft and it's head over heels and i just didn't even check to see what it's called it's um swagger <laughs> so there we are oh my word look at that swagger i've just had in my head and i probably shouldn't share this but i've just got do you remember um john travolta on um, Saturday Night Fever when he's um, coming down the road. Yeah, he's going home. He works in a decorating shop. Um, so he's got these two tins of paint and he's doing all this with his hips and like that. That's what's just gonna come into my head. So I wonder if Mr. Jack's, like, I'll make this place. I wonder whether he'd do this coming towards me. Da, 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 da. Hope he hasn't got two tins of paint in his hand. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so it's still living in my Christmas bag. I took them to um, oh, took them to my mum's today. I've just forgotten to show you another pair of socks. Um, and this is um, by Dawn. She made this for me from the Woven Almanac. So all my stitches fell off um, when I got it out of the bag. So I thought, oh, what do I do? And I think this is from, well, it's definitely from Jeanette. She made this for me, but I think it's for a couple of Christmases ago. Why oh, is that very Christmas? Or am I thinking of something else? It's a Lynette Anderson one. So I've got that. Digressing. So these are Mr. Jack's. So this is Opal. I've got that in there. Really, really enjoyed using that grey um, Opal for the contrast on my socks and Mr. Jack's socks. So um, I think... I think it's either Opal or West Yorkshire Spinners. There's no label. I might have been gifted this. No, I have made a socks. I made a pair for my daughter's father-in-law. He, excuse me, his wife knits and he wanted a pair of socks. A bit like Danny and his um, jumper that Alex is making for him that he really wants. <laughs> Come on, Alex, get that jumper made. <laughs> Put that wrap down and get on with uh, Danny's jumper. Yeah, Danny. <laughs> um, but asking his wife to knit him a pair of socks, and I was yeah we were, we were going to be with them Christmas, and so I thought what what can I give this man? So I'm knitting him a pair of socks. Oh my word, he was so happy with them. And I said, would you just be able to send me a picture of your record for my records? And he did, <laughs> which was really funny. So, like men, men can be very difficult, I think, to buy for. So and if they appreciate a pair of handmade socks, that is easy done. Yeah, look. Isn't that lovely? I showed my mum today. Yeah, lovely. All right, let's put them in. Let's put them in the needle case. Because after this, I've got to go and uh, make the bed. Any long-time viewers will know that Tuesdays, I kind of procrastinate all day, try and do everything else before I do the bed. I love getting into the bed. I love a clean bed. So it's stripped now, and yeah, it's in the wash. So I've got to make it. I'll go and get Mr. Jack so he can help me. So yeah, and I'll just show you for my mum. I had knitted her a pair. I think she got my first pair or second pair. I knitted a pair for me to practice, and then I gifted my mum because her birthday's in January. I think I learned in the autumn. In the autumn. But she got them out because she hasn't worn them. So why haven't you worn them? And she was like mm, humming and hawing. I said, "It's all right, mum. Tell me if you really don't like them." I said, "It's fine." She knows that I don't like them because I really like them. But she said they're. Um, they're too big. I said, oh, so why didn't you say? She goes, oh, I didn't like to. I said, well, they're not going to do you any good in your drawer. I said, I'll make you another pair, but I'll make them a bit smaller. Um, so I think I took, yeah, drew around a foot. Drew around a foot. Let's get these on. See if I can do the two pairs at the same time. Yeah, so I drew around a foot and I've made them, yeah, slightly smaller. Because I think when you first start anything, you just knit as the pattern, don't you? And then as you progress... Or become what's that a rabbit is that a rabbit 
Um, yeah, as you progress, you um, tweak them, don't you, for your fit. Right, let's just try this on. Yes. So I've been to see her today. So I went on my own and I'm, I don't like motorway driving. Do you like motorway driving? I'm just trying to sort of, yeah, pad it out while I'm trying to get these socks on the sock locker. But I went today and I did really well. I know I have to go, you know, a little way. It takes about half an hour. Um... And then I had to come back and it was raining. I don't like driving in the fast in the fast rain, in the um, fine rain or any rain when I'm on the motorway. But it wasn't too bad. And I did it in really good time. So I was happy with that. All right, let's get this one. So I did two styles. Yeah, so we went to Sainsbury's. That seems to be our thing. We seem to buy a jumper because um, my mum's lost like, a lot of weight. And um, she told me what size she was. I was like, laughing, you're not know, that size, Mom. She's never been that size. But um, And then we, we go home, she tries it on a couple of days later. And then we have to take it back and get a smaller size. So we've done that three times. I think this week was my my turn. Oh, where, where did I put that? I think you might have to have one sock. Yeah. Here we go. Right, so again, West Yorkshire Spinners, and um, it's by, it's called Maud, and my grandmother was called Maud. So I said to mum, let me, let me see, I'll knit you a pair of socks and I'll see if I can get a pair out, two pairs out, one for you and one for me, and then we can have a bit of a with us when we wear them. So I took them today and she was chuffed to bits with them. So she, that's the shadow up here. So really lovely. So that's two. I must have done an afterthought and a shadow up heel. So they're lovely. And then I've done a heel flap and gusset, and that's what she's picked. I don't think she, she couldn't work out when they were flat how they look so peculiar. But I said you can have whatever you want and wear them. And then if you find that they, I've got them, got the fit right, then I'll make you some more. I said to her, "Do you get cold feet?" And she'd do sometimes. I said, put a pair of socks on. See, she needs to make sure that her circulation is good. Yeah. And there's the other one, just in case you need to know. Yay! Oh, Mum, they look really good. Give us a twirl then. Let's turn around and see what the backs look like on you. Oh, lovely. You're happy with them? Yeah, they are. They're really nice. Right, let's see if I can get us in frame. That's it, right, the camera. Right. Let's see. Are you going to follow me? Oh, I see, like that. That's your penguin. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn around and then just do some fancy steps to the fireplace, show you socks of wax. <laughs> Be Fred, was it Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers? Right. Okay. So that's it for the socks, I think, definitely. Yeah, that's that's it. Right, because I've had to stop the camera two or three times, I think I'm going to leave it here because I don't know. I was going to say, go on about my sock plans and... Um, some patterns but I think it'll just make it too long I think I've done with socks and that's that's it I'm going to leave it there I'm contemplating doing March vlogs um and I think I might but I think I might shake it up <laughs> shake it up um no not turn it up well, I don't know what I know no I don't know why I know <laughs> um but I think I might maybe I might do some pre-recorded so I can have like a weekend weekend off or I can have some days off or something. Or I might have a focus. That's it. That's what I'm looking for is come out. <laughs> is have a focus. Um, so I could perhaps go through some sock patterns and yeah, like we could just have a chat. Um, but I have, I think I might do a little homework section or question section. Should we call it a question section? So what I would like you to do for me, if you've made it all this way to the end, could you tell me? please whether you are 
a hay knit socks? Are you um, are you a DPN knitter? Are you a magic loop knitter? Or are you, is it a six inch circular? Or have you used these? Answers on a postcard down below, please. So I want to try those. Yes. So I might do some like, just some like focus. Because you obviously we do housework and all that kind of thing. And I don't know how quick I'd be or anything like that. Let me just have a drink. So I have, yes, I'm going to show you. So I have got some hand dyed, but I need to have a look. So I have this. Da -da! <laughs> and let's just fold that round and make it a bit prettier to show you. That's it. I think that was mauled. Oh, there we are, it's in there. It's called Autumn Leaves. So it's a nutcracker, and then I think that is, is that mauled? Well, it was Mr. Jack's, wasn't it? Yeah, so I need to look look that up, that one up for you. So I have those, my commercial yarns, the odd bits left. So I need to weigh those. And then I have <laughs> all of that. So I feel at the moment that I need to get all that together and um, think about what I'm going to do with it. Just bear with me. Oh, that was Mr. Jacks. Um, he just had his shower. You don't need to know that. He's going to help me make the bed and we're on the... <laughs> I was, about to, I was about to say we're on a promise we're on a promise to make the make the bed that's all <laughs> on that note my lovelies I'm gonna go so don't forget for your homework your question rather to let me know down below and um, I'll come back and I'll see you later bye